Iragash Bulder Tuzim, Ebekatia Yatla, and this is my America PG channel where I talk about the Chuvash language and about life in Chuvashia. Today I wanted to talk about numbers in Chuvash. If you speak or know of any other Turkic language, um, you'll find, like Turkish or Azeri, you'll find that the numbers in Chuvash are actually very similar, so it'll, they'll be easy to remember. Um, the numbers in up to 10 in Chuvash are all very similar in that they each have a long consonant or a geminate consonant in the middle. The Chuvash have two different sets of numbers. One set is called the long form, and that's when you're counting or you just say the number, when you're talking about just the number. But if you want to say something like instead of seven, you want to say seven days, Chuvash is very interesting in that they use a different form of the number when there's a noun that comes after it. Um, it's, Chuvash is also interesting in that if you do say something like seven days, days won't actually be in the plural form. It'll be in the singular form. And this isn't because Chuvash doesn't have a plural form for nouns. They do. But when you're talking about um, a collective set, you use the singular form, especially if you have a number in front of it. For those of us that speak English or into European languages where it seems very odd that you wouldn't put the number, or sorry, the noun in the plural after a number, um, for us it would be a um, violation of some sort of number agreement. But and for the Chuvash and for many other languages, it's more like you've already said how many there are, so saying that it's plural again is actually some kind of, you know, it just seems repetitive. Anyway, uh, let's go through the numbers 1 to 10, and um, first I'll go through the long form, and then um, I'll go through them again with both. So this is perre. Perre. This is ike. Ike. Three is vishe, vishe. Four is twatta, twatta. Five, pilik, pilik. Six is ulta, ulta. Seven is shiche, shiche. Oops. Eight is sakr, sakr. Nine is tahr, tahr. And ten is vunna, vunna. Now, what's interesting is that there is a phonological rule that happens when you shorten geminate consonants. Well, when you have a short, when you have Let's take um, perre, the short form is per. But for a word like two, ike, when you have ike, when k is in a geminate um, um, place, it sounds like k, an unvoiced um, velar stop, ike. But when you shorten it, when there's just uh, one k and it's in between two vowels, it actually becomes voiced, so it sounds like a G, ige. So the long form is ike, and the short form is ige. Um, same with three. Vishe, the short form is vije, vije. Um, for four, twata, and the sh when you just have one T in between two vowels, between the two A's, it shortens to a D type sound, like as if it's voiced. Tvada. Not tvata, a tvada. Five. Pilik. Pilik. So L doesn't actually change. Pilik. Pilik. Just shortens. Six. Ulta. Ulda. Again, T goes to D. Seven. Shiche. Shiche. Eight, this is another K, Sakr, Sagr. 
nein, tacher, 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 tacher. That's the, the very uh, back ch, like in Bach. And ten, wunna, the short form for ten is wun. So a word that you know, kun, from when I said irgun puter in my first video, kun means day. If I wanted to say seven days, shitje is the long form, shitje is the short form. So I'd use the short form, and kun would actually stay in the singular tense. So it'd be shitje kun. If I wanted to say ten fingers, I would vunna is the long form, vun is the short form, porne is the um, word for finger. So I would say vun porne. If I wasn't saying vun porne, or if I was just talking about, you know, the fingers of uh, of my hands or my fingers, I would say pornizem. I could say. Pornizem, that's the plural. But if I say vun, ten, then I don't have to say pornizem, I just say purne. So vun purne means ten fingers. Um, that's all I have today about chuvash. Um, if you want to hear more about the chuvash language, if you have questions, um, if there's a particular topic that you want to hear about, um, you can feel free to leave some questions in the comments. Um, for my next video, I am going to present what the paper that I've been writing in one of my phonology classes about chuvash gemination and chuvash stress patterns um, in optimality theory. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Thanks. Tavdabush. Chiber.